Alright, Shalom. We give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai. Give double honors to the apostles of great mills to not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hope and since elect. It's my cousin from the Trinidad camp. So we do a little edification. Alright, concerning, you know, like new members coming into the faith. Alright, because one thing when we out there, because like we had this young brother who just came in the camp, you know, a couple about two, three months. We say about roughly four months. Alright, 16 years old and you know basically he came fresh from the church all right he came fresh from the church and basically he right now he going through a fight with his parents they basically want him to go back in the church but he was actually strong in the in the, in the you know in the christian church wherever the case is but when he came to to this faith he actually relinquished everything he learned he started fresh his mother said that we brainwashed him well actually yeah in righteousness we did through the spirit of the lord we did brainwash him we wash his brain from all that filth so right now he's building his foundation with yahweh shai and not mingled with jesus with jc all right and actually it have brothers that actually do that they come into the fold and they bring in doctrines and philosophies and teachings that they learned in the world and try to mingle it with the faith all right and that actually causes offenses that will actually cause offense at, at one point because the scripture talk about being complete and you can't be complete and incomplete at the same time you can't be the scripture say um is the lord divided so you can't be with your shy and worshiping some other deity just just following the teachings of another another doctrine is actually worshiping the deity all right so let's want to bring out a few scriptures real quick this is first corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 it says let no man deceive himself if any man among you seem it to be wise in this world let him become a fool that he may be wise so first of all you have to relinquish everything that you know everything that you learn because guess what you have to acknowledge that this is the truth this is the word of truth is a hundred percent truth and we are learning the world was bull crap so just have to forget that and learn afresh but when you want to hold on to some teachings, guess what? You actually building your foundation. When this foundation is supposed to be of hard concrete, you actually building your foundation with mud in it, with dirt, with 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 sticks. And guess what? From people who into construction, you know that is actually that is actually weak for the foundation. Because guess what? You wouldn't have that that full that good bond. Like like in Daniel, they talk about the. The toes part clay, part stone. They said it shall be partly strong and partly weak, and partly broken. That is how you will be. Partly strong, partly broken. All right, you're gonna have a weak spot. You're not supposed to have a weak spot. You're supposed, you're not supposed to have any Achilles heels in this. You're supposed to actually be thoroughly baptized, thoroughly washed in the water of the Lord, and not your heel outside that didn't get washed. Cause that's gonna be a weak spot, and evidently your foundation gonna crumble because why you're holding on to doctrines that you was taught all right this is second ezra chapter 14 verse 34 therefore if so be that you will subdue you will subdue being basically to give up all right subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts you shall be kept alive and after death you shall obtain mercy so you have to subdue understanding and reform your life restructuring coming in this truth is restructuring but to restructure you have to first kick that old doctrine out the door wherever you learn with um, christianity rastafarianism buddhism um, um hinduism um we call this one Mus Mus is ish those those blasted rat eaten ishmaelites and the doctrine with islam all right talking about they don't eat pork they ask this be eating pork in secret all right wherever the case is wherever you learn out there you have to relinquish that coming into this faith and once you relinquish it guess what that is actually your first step into being a man the lord into entering into the kingdom because you can't enter into the kingdom being defiled with other doctrines that is what the scripture said in um revelation chapter 14 verse 4 these are they that were not defiled with women they didn't have mud and dirt and sticks and plastic or whatever the case is mingled in the foundation it was straight concrete which you have a shy head corner 
all right and that is how you have to be able to forget where you know don't come and apply where you know to the truth and think you could add a new twist to it the truth is the truth all right is the last scripture here this hebrews chapter 13 verse 9 it says be not carried away with diverse and strange doctrines for it is good for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace and not with meats so your heart had to be established with grace scripture talk about the grace of his word so your heart coming in this truth had to be established had to be set off had to be kick start with this word not with meats not with other doctrines you had to be kick started with the word of yahweh shai all right you can't be coming in and mingling it make with, with with this love and prosperity doctrine from in church and all the, all this this other madness all these other um denominations teach you yeah, they're being grafted with it with the truth and nothing but the truth this is where the scripture said to be established with grace and not with meats meats go back to doctrines it says which have not profited them which have been occupied therein so it's not profiting these people out there so why you want to take parts of it to apply to this word and guess what this guy that actually he out the camp right now chief high priest apostle johan all right this devil that is the same thing he was actually doing and that is why he actually out there right now the lord kicked his ass to the curve the lord the scripture said lord um, deuteronomy 4 24 lord said he's a jealous god you can't be coming into this thing and trying to mingle teachings from another doctrine in this faith it's only a matter of time before the lord get rid of your black ass all right so take that as a warning when you're coming in this truth forget where you was taught in the world and learn afresh all right scripture say put on a new man all right so with that i'm gonna give all praises to yahweh by shami al shai give double honors to the apostles of great millstone that rule well salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect shalom